Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how you can print out values of variables in C. So, if you want to print out booleans, there's an eye up in the corner with a whole tutorial dedicated to that. However, for everything else, we can cover it in this tutorial. So, I've got a bunch of variables. We've got um, an int, we've got a float, We've got a very maturely named double, and a double is basically a float, but with roughly double the precision of a float, allowing it to represent numbers with more digits and a wider range, hence why it's called a double. We've got a character, we've got an unsigned int, and an unsigned int is an integer in C that can only represent non-negative values, so zero and positive numbers, which can be useful when you're dealing with quantities that cannot be negative, and where you need to store larger positive integers. And we've got ch char array message saying the good old hello world. So let's look at how we print these out. So to print out um, an integer, we can do, um, we have a string here, and we have a new line character, and we've got an i. So i is our variable, and percent %d is basically how we can add the value of the integer that we want to print into what we're going to print. So, if we want to um, have more than one integer printed, what we would do is we would copy percent %d and do another percent %d, but then after we will do comma and then do an i. So this will go to here and this will go to there. But we're only going to do one for, for this example. The same thing applies when you want to print out a float. But instead of percent %d you do percent %f. And again if you want to do more than one float you need to do more percent %f's and then add in more floats in commas like this. But we're only going to print out one float for this demonstration. Now, to print out a double, we do percent %lf. Now, I think percent %lf stands for long float, because a double is just a longer float, but I could be wrong. If you know, let me know in the comments. But we can do whatever we want to type, and whatever we want to inject our double, we just do percent %lf. In fact, let's type some, some random stuff after. Again, to print out a character, we do char percent %c and make sure we have a character variable as a parameter here, so after a comma. This is how we do it for an unsigned int. It's just percent %u and then make sure you have your unsigned int variable here. For a string, it is percent %s. So let's save our work and hit play. And as you can see, it printed off all the values perfectly. However, what if we want to print multiple different variables of different types in the same string. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've got our printf function, so we're going to do message, percent %s, so we're going to print a string, then we're going to do int, percent %d, to print an integer, then we're going to do double, percent %lf, to print out a double, and then we do comma, message, which is our uh, character array or our string, then we do comma, i, which is our integer, then we do comma d, which is our double. There isn't really any limit to how many variables you can print in one printf statement. But just make sure that your variables are passed in the correct order or you will encounter problems. So we're going to save our work and then hit play. As you can see, we printed out hello world, int 10, double 2.696970. And you might be thinking, Max, why does it round up the 2.696969? Well, it's to do with the precision when we use percent %lf. By default, it shows up to six digits after the decimal point, and I'll show you in another tutorial how you can increase that. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.